Deep in the forest, a family of travelers stumbled upon an abandoned bus by chance. It was clear that the transportation had been sitting here for many years. The wheels were rotting, and the body on the outside was starting to be covered with vegetation. With interest, they slowly began to walk around the old vehicle and noticed that the entrance to the door area was clearly being used. Stephen and his father loved going on forest outings. The areas around their small town were sparsely populated. Plenty of hills and forests made the area not very interesting for living. However, nature lovers and those who enjoy a free way of life were happy here. You could travel around the county with plenty of places for trips and hikes. Usually, they would go away for the weekends, staying overnight. They would stay in small family hotels and shelters. This time, out of habit, they stopped at another shelter. It was very tiny, and there were no available spots. The father and son were about to move on, but they decided to take a short walk around the nearby forest, as the places were beautiful around and they still had time. Gradually, the forest thickened, and the shelter disappeared far behind. When they decided it was time to go back, the sun saw a metal roof peeking out behind a hill. It was covered in leaves, but it was clear that it was an old bus. They circled it, the metal was already beginning to lose the battle with time, but the door clearly showed that the bus was being used. Out of curiosity, they peeked inside. It turned out that the rusted sides of the old bus were hiding a cozy home, literally the envy of city dwellers. They walked inside. All the space had been converted into a small cozy cabin. Apparently, some recluse had gotten so tired of civilization that he decided to settle in the forest and used an old bus. The furniture was quite ascetic, but functional. Two beds, a folding table. The sleeping area was carefully separated from the living room with a kitchen, by a curtain. There was even a shower and a kitchen, with a water tank set up outside. There was no electricity, but what to expect from a summer hideout. When they returned to the village, the owner of the shelter told them that the old recluse had turned the bus into a real forest fairy tale. Just a gift for those who were tired of the lights of civilization. 